Hey, welcome to Total Schmidt Show. How you doing? I'm back at sea. Uh, here's what you're gonna get from this show. It's kind of like quarantine comedy, uh, except I'm not gonna be home. Actually, it's kind of like quarantine comedy and a combination of all the stuff I've done online over the last year or so. There's sketch stuff, live stuff, stand-up stuff, travel stuff, and of course, conversations with others who do the same things that I do on a daily basis. That's it, that's the whole show. And I'm gonna record it all and put it on the intro web. Sometimes, usually late. Always late. Maybe. I don't know. And weekly? Nah, 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 maybe. Sort of. Could be. Either way, sit back. I hope you enjoy whatever the hell it is I put together for this week on Total Schmidt Show. All right, guys. Thanks for being here. Oh, my gosh. There's already there's a glitch. Hold on. There's a glitch. I didn't see that coming. Guys, welcome to Total Schmidt Show. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. This show is going to be a combination of a lot of different things. Uh, it's quarantine comedy, something you guys have seen before. Um, and we're going to do some sketches, we're going to do some stuff from traveling, some live shows, some live remotes, all kinds of stuff. Today's show, though, we're going to get right to the point. Uh, we're going to have my good friend Peter Jessup out, out here in a second. We're going to talk about something he's got exciting that's going on that he actually was talking about here before, and now we have exciting news to move it forward. I'm jazzed. When I find out about this, I want to have Peter on for the very first show. So um, for now, do me a favor. If you're watching the show, as always, uh, give it a thumbs up, man. Uh, share the video like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, all those things. They really help me uh, immensely. They cost you nothing. They support the channel. They're a really great uh, way for you to help us out. So I'll do that now. Hit a thumbs up, man. Go down to the bottom. Oh, look, click, boom. There we go. We got a couple of viewers here. We got Robin and we have Gar here. That's who is here now. Um, and Gar let me know that my, uh, my sound wasn't working. Thank you, Gar. As always with these shows, I need my people to tell me what I'm doing wrong. And Robin, thank you. I'm glad you like my Ensenada hat. Uh, I bought it, obviously, when I was in Ensenada. This is one of my favorite hats. Um, so there we go. I'm excited about the show, man. We're going to do a lot of different stuff. Um, we got different artists coming up. I have a bunch of shows taped up and sketches and all kinds of stuff I've been editing, putting together. Uh, but today, we're going to go right to something uh, I was really excited about. You might recognize this gentleman uh, from uh, the show. Uh, he, was on, uh, he was on the SEAL team, and you'll recognize his voice for sure. Uh, he's been uh, uh, Fallout 4 and a number of other projects, but he's here to talk about something. Good friend of mine, fellow uh, Chicagoan, give it up for the one and only uh, Peter Jessup. There he is. Look, there he is live, Peter Jessup. How are you, my friend? I'm good, Lenny. Hi. Dude, th thank good, man. Thanks for, uh, thanks for being here for the first show. Uh, you were the best. And you look, uh, dude, look, I, we mentioned earlier, I love the uh, library behind you. You didn't get the pipe. You didn't do the thing. What I happened? didn't get the pipe. I was going to get the just to say. Yeah, That's you look cool yeah. with the glasses, and the, it would have been good. But kind of a you know Fraser Smith slash uh, Mister Rogers thing. Yes. Well, I'm 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 fighting against my natural uh, punk rock inclinations by putting on a sweater. <laughs> good for you, Trying man. Trying to look refined, you know. It's uh, hold on to the rebel that you are. Hold on to it. Yeah. All right. Right on. How's it going, man? It's good. It's good. We've. Uh, We've been working on this project for like we talked about it a year and a half ago, probably or a year yeah. ago. Yeah, uh, right. Yeah, I got all kinds of year. I got some stuff to show the people too. I got clips. I got stuff. Uh, so why don't you give us a little heads up on what it is? It's a animated project. It looks great, but it's something that you've been working on extremely hard for several years. So why don't you clue us in? Yeah, it's a uh, it's a show about a couple of young bands that are trying to make it in the new wave scene in the eighties. Uh, I worked on the music with uh, my friend Eric Skirmerhorn, who was Iggy's guitar player for years, and he toured with Bowie and Tin Machine and was in They Might Be Giants, a bunch of other really cool bands, The The. And uh, the guy's brilliant. So we put together some original songs. Every episode is going to have like a fun, wacky adventure that the bands go through. Uh, and an original song at the end that's uh, like a separate video that uh, that you can, you know, separate out and, and watch at your leisure. So it's uh, it's an amazing cast. We uh, one of the things I've been in this business for 30 years uh, in in voiceover, pretty much. So uh, I got to know a lot of some of the premier people in the business and we've got a lot of them. Uh, there are only so many roles, so I couldn't get all of them. But uh, we've got an amazing cast. Uh, just super. We got Yuri Lowenthal and Tara Platt. Yuri was Ben Ten and Superboy and 
uh, just he's been a, a zillion different things. We've got uh, Carolina Ravasa from Overwatch. We've got Courtney Taylor, who was in Fallout 4 with me and uh, Resident Evil and uh, just about every game you can imagine. She was Starla on Regular Show. If you ever watched Regular Show. Yeah, I love Regular um, Show, man. Kids love that show. Yeah, but we've got Ab Abby Trot and Sharon Mutu from uh, Carmen Sandiego. We've got Shelby Young from Star the Star Wars animated universe. We've got, uh, boy, Todd Stashwick, uh, another Chicago boy. Uh, does a lot more live action stuff. He was in the show 12 Monkeys. He's been in everything you've ever seen. He's an amazing oh, I love talent that show. guy. That's great, man. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're really excited. And the studio system in L.A. is funny. <laughs> and it's hard for, you know, well, you know. It's such a polite way to put it. I love, I've never heard it put that way before. It's, uh, it's kind of funny, you know, if you work in the industry. It's, it's hard for actors and artists to get production meetings if you don't have a record of being a producer. So we decided to crowdfund it. Uh, we're doing a Kickstarter. We've got, uh, you know, a nice beginning going. And if we can get the pilot made, then we'll have something to, you know, get one of the major studios or streamers or somebody to pick up and, and we can have a, a series is the plan. So, but the pilot's written, it's fully cast, got the music, got the character designs, everything. Um, you've got a clip, I think we put together a, sort of a test of what the elements of the opening would look like. It's not really the same animation style because it was done in Flash okay, uh, by this guy that I know, but it gives you an idea of what it would look like when the show opens. So, okay. All right. Yeah. Well, let, let's show that now. Can I show it now? This is going to be, uh, go for it. This is the clip that Peter sent me for, of new wave. And, uh, let's just cut right to it, man. This is, uh, this is a uh, new wave. Wait, I want to make sure the sound is correct. Bam. New wave. I think we're good. All right. Let's check it out. This is it. This is our chance. This is the 1980s. Nothing's going to stop us. This is gonna be so awesome! So, are we gonna play the song now? We're gonna play all night and day. Get out of the way, we gotta get a move on. We've got plans, gonna take a stand. Gonna start a band, we're calling it the Neutron. You can see what we want you to see. You can see us on your TV. expected <laughs> dude it's great it looks fantastic yeah it's awesome man it's funny watching it just now it reminded me i was talking you know aiden my son aiden yeah uh he said yeah it looks good uh, even that part you didn't finish and i was like what he goes you know what's all the pencil sketch and i realized that he didn't know what the aha video for take on me was oh he's never which seen that was a parody oh. of yeah and I was like, no, buddy, that's that's done on purpose. We did that on purpose. He's like, no, no we, idea. So that's yeah, we're actually calling back right to there. something. That's only yeah. It's a lot of stuff that kid, these days kids are like, what's that? Um, yeah. That's also I like the fact you're going to do an original song at the end of each episode. I think that's really cool. You know what I mean? Yeah, we've got we've got about 20 demos in the can at this point. You know, once we get the production started, we can get into the studio and really do them. Right. Um, I think you played one of them on the show last time I was on. Uh, that we had done. Oh, right. Okay. But, but uh, you know, it, it, that was a demo. And that's not really a finished product, but it sounded pretty good. So I thought I'd let you play it on the yeah on the show. Yeah, right. That's so, a good call. <laughs> yeah. What, um, um, what, what's, is there a link for the, what's the Kickstarter? How, where do they, how do they find that? How do people go if they want to go to the Kickstarter? If they go to Kickstarter, they can look up uh, New Wave Pilot. It's new underscore wave, I believe, pilot. 
Um, I think I sent you a link in the email, but it was really tiny for some reason. Okay. Hang on. And uh, yeah, but just go to Kickstarter and look under animation. Uh, it's called New Wave Pilot. And uh, we've got a whole page there. Talks about the, the show, gives you an idea of who the characters are and who the actors that are playing them are. Um, it's got a link to that video. It's got a link to a song at the very end of the page. And, you know, every, every little bit helps. 20 bucks, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, whatever you can come up with. People, uh, the more people chip in, the closer we get to our goal. And if we don't hit our goal, then we don't get anything. So, oh, okay. You know, What's the what's that's the, how what's, Kickstarter works. What's the what's the goal? What's the, what's the whole goal? It's seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Wow. Okay. That's what it that's what it costs to do a twenty two minute animated episode. Wow. Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah. So it's a big ask, but I think it's worth it. Right. Um, you know, it's it's going to be a great show. It's got uh, you know, we've got pretty much every episode for the first season, maybe two seasons. Uh, sketched out, rough sketch. We got three scripts written, uh, and everything's ready to go. Right, right. You know, all we need to do is 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 get the money to pay an animation studio to put it together, and that's right. uh, that's where we are right now. Dude, that's great, man. I love the. T- I'm I'm always a big supporter of anytime you do your own stuff. You know what I mean? Like you you said, the studio system is like you spend so much time out here trying to get booked, trying to get cast, trying to do all this stuff. Man, if you can actually yeah. get an opportunity to put something out there that's your own thing. Um, I think that's brilliant, man. That's that's awesome, man. You and you, how many other? Uh, how how are you getting the word out? We were talking about this a little bit before about getting the word out for Kickstarter. Um, how's that? How's that going, man? How I'm like? How do you? It's it's tough. You know, yeah. you, you go on Twitter and you tweet it out, and if you put the link in it, it doesn't really show up on your feed or anybody your followers' feeds, and. You know, the cast have been great. They've been super enthusiastic. Everybody involved wants to see this get made. Right. And a lot of them have 120, 150,000 followers on Twitter, and they're posting it like crazy, and they're getting 16 hits, 17 hits. Um, so we're going around trying to figure out other ways to get the word out. Right. So like, like, like coming on my friend Lenny's show. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know... <laughs> to come in... I- I know five people right now that are gonna uh, are gonna get the word out, but uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, like and I said, even if you don't donate, go to the page and take a look at it. You know, folks, it's uh, it's it's pretty cool. It's yeah, you, been, know, you know, there's been a lot of work put into this. Yeah, here's the thing. Like I mentioned, even though this will this video will stay up on YouTube after we're done, and everybody I know that watches the show, the, first of all, uh, I know Rachel, Rachel and uh, Rob, Robin mentioned just a few minutes ago. On the board here, I'm looking at the comments. She's been super excited about the show. Rachel's been super excited about the show since November when she saw it. I remember she asked about it. And at the very yeah. least, even if uh, if they like it and they share it and they share this stuff on their social media, they're all exactly they're great. yeah, they're great about that stuff. So anything they share, you get one or two people here, one or two people there, and you never know. I mean, that's all you can do. It seems so weird, man. Yep. Like, we're talking about you said you guys all combined, you've got what half a million followers and followers or subscribers to your on stuff. twitter yeah yeah but you've yeah. only got how many hits like you know what i mean it's we've had under we've had under 700 visits to the page i don't yeah i don't I, social media is so yeah. weird man i don't i don't get it and then yeah. other things get 19 million views or 10 million views and you're like um yeah all right you just don't know what to think anymore you know you don't so you know it's you just got to keep slugging away and uh trying to get the word out right so tell all your friends Ooh, I will, man. Everybody here, I got thumbs up from everybody, man. Anybody have any questions yeah. for uh, Peter? Feel free to throw them out, man. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think it's a great idea, dude. I uh, I'll go on and check out the Kickstarter, and I'll and I'll share it on the YouTube thing after that. What, um, um, dude? This, uh, what voice are you in the thing? Are you one of the band members, or what do you got? What are you doing? I'm the English guy. Yeah, uh, you're the lead guy. Are you really? That was that was me at the beginning, dude. Yeah. That's really cool. This is it. This is the 1980s. Nothing's going to stop us. Oh, dude, that's the best. I remember I was listening to it trying to figure out which one you were. I'm like, you yeah, can't be yeah, the first so guy. <laughs> no, that was me singing, too. So that's. Oh, is you yeah. singing? Dude, I had no idea. Yeah, that's so, me so singing talented. the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> so wrote it, sang it, performed it. Yeah. 
<laughs> Richard, Rachel asked that wasn't Richard Blade. She thought, she thought that was Richard Blade that was doing the the voice. Well, we're going to try and get Richard on the show at some point. One of the Dude. cool things about the show, and, uh, you know, we've got, uh, we've got a way to get in touch with all of the original MTV VJs. Yeah. Uh, and Eric, because of his career in music, knows everybody right. in the music scene from back then. And has already talked to people. We've written an entire episode for Iggy. Oh, uh, we haven't shown it to him yet. Right. Because <laughs> the show hasn't been picked up. But once the show gets made, you know, once sure, they right. start, you know, actually get a place to show it, uh, we're going to send him the script and talk to him about it. And uh, But, you know, Eric has talked to, uh, I really probably shouldn't say who, who he's talked to, but a lot right. of famous people from various really cool bands from the 80s. Um, it's still well, a handshake at this point since we haven't made the show. I don't want to commit them to anything. Yeah, right. So. No, I hear you. But but that's got K Rock written all over it. All that old K Rock stuff yeah. or that Rodney Bingingham, Bingingham, right? Is that his name? Rodney. Oh, Bingenheimer. Yeah. Yeah, he would be perfect because yeah. he's Rodney got a on thing the rock. on Rock. Yeah, Rodney in the Rock, and he's got a thing on Sirius yeah. now. So I listen to him on Sirius occasionally. Um, yeah, but he's still around, man. And voice for them, that's really perfect for those guys because it's been. I mean, that was the '80s, so all those DJs have yep. got to. Well, in their seventies now, maybe right, maybe sixties, oh, seventies. Yeah. So, yeah. to do voiceover work, that's perfect for them. They don't have to do anything or exactly. go anywhere. You know what I mean? That's perfect. Yep. It's not you don't have to fly out and audition for nothing. They just do their voice, and they're already right. known in that circle. You know, they're known big exactly. time in that circle, right? Well, and the other thing about the show is nobody's going to audition for the show. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm just going to call them. Oh, that's great. That's great. You know, that, I, yeah. I just, I think it's, it's this is such a stressful business and you have to, even after 30 years, I still audition every yeah, day I hear you. for stuff. And yeah. when I would get a call and my agent would say, listen, Andrea Romano wants you to come in and do some stuff on this Warner brothers superhero thing. I'd be like, I've arrived. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I got a call, you know? <laughs> so that was, you know, that was always a thrill. And I just think, you know, so like the entire cast, nobody auditioned for this. I called them up and said, hey, I'm doing a project. Right. You want to look at it. And some of them said yes before I even finished the sentence. Right. Yeah. Um, you know. Yeah, because they got a call. Uh, right. And, but they also got a script and they got to read it and they liked it. Uh, yeah. The script is great. It's hilarious. And, uh, you know, the characters are cool. Um the the girl group the earmuffs that aren't really featured in the opening that you saw right are actually going to have their own opening and they've got the second verse of the song oh that's that cool we've written haven't recorded yet and then there's a third verse that the two bands do together and we're going to put them all together so when we you know get the show made get all the songs together and we put out an album so we'll have a whole song there instead of just a minute yeah, right, right, right. But when it's a an earmuffs centric episode, that's the theme song. It's going to be them doing all the zany adventures. Um, we've got an amazing bunch of singers. Uh, we got Kari Walgren who just dropped her first album, um, "Slot Her," and it's her doing Slaughter cover songs, and it's freaking amazing. Oh, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> we've got a, a girl named Lisa Foreman who is really sort of starting out in VO right now, but she's a background, a backup singer mm -hmm. toured with the Foo Fighters and the prodigy and John five uh, is an amazing musician. We've got Abby Trot, uh, who I first met actually on a singing gig. We had booked a job singing together uh, and Sharon Muthu, who's a jazz singer, but she's told us she's going to adjust to the rock, you know, right. Right. Vocals. Right. So, We've got four great singers. Um, we've got access to great musicians, and I think it's going to be really cool. I think it's going to sound great. The stories are fun and funny. Uh, the characters, you get to learn more about them in every episode. Get the backstories on, you know, Mitch, the guitar player, who said, oh, are we going to sing the song now? Right. Um, you know, and his quirks, and Alex, the drummer, who said it was going to be awesome. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, 
Dude, there are so, so many ideas. Yeah, you have so many places to go there. You got two different bands and yeah. all these different characters, and not to mention just millions of things from the eighties. I mean, you just go off and on and on and on about so much oh, stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Callback stuff and then even reverse jokes that are, you know, like when iPods oh, yeah. came out, iPods are stupid, they won't catch on. You know what I mean? Something like that is always a funny right. you know what I mean? There's a ton of that stuff. There's the Well, the impossible. earmuffs logo is actually it's a pair of earmuffs with a cord coming out one side that spells earmuffs in cursive and then it plugs into a Walkman. Okay. <laughs> and that's their logo. Right, right. So, you know, uh, there are a million little Easter eggs in this. Uh, we've got little different flashes of animation style. Uh, there's an episode where they wake up in the 60s and they have to be a 60s band. Oh, that's great. And they're going to walk through it. They're going to walk through a door and it's going to be the yellow submarine corridor with the stuff going back and forth. And they're going to be drawn yellow submarine style. They come out the other side. They're back to normal. Right. Um, you know, there's there's a speed racer reference animation reference in the pilot. There's, uh, you know, lots and lots of little things. And, and there's so much. Uh, just a lot of little treats throughout the whole show. Nice. Can I uh, yeah. can I put your email in the bio too? Sure. Okay, because I know it's on the PR, it's in the press. So, um, yeah, dude, that's dynamite. That's the best. So, how yeah. now? What, what do you have time wise as far as the Kickstarter goes? What, what do they give you time wise to get to raise the money? Uh, we got another six weeks, so oh, we've God. got time. Okay. Um, you know, I'm not panicking yet. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, we it's started out nice and strong. And like most Kickstarters, it kind of cools off after the initial burst. And, you know, um, right now we're just trying to, you know, get as many people's eyeballs on our page as we can get. Yeah, right. So. Yeah, get it shared, get it out there, get it looked at and stuff. Yeah. Good, man. So anybody got questions? I don't know. Let's go back to the board. Let's see. Everybody's all excited about it, man. Let's see. I got. Uh, hang on. Oh, no, there's one. There's one. No, I'm not going to. There's Rachel has one question so far. Do you still have a character for me? And I'm not asking you that question. That's Rachel asking. <laughs> that question. I don't know why she put you on the spot like that. But she said she's asking for a friend. Um, oh, asking for a friend. Yeah, she's asking for a friend. Um, well, the pilot's all fully cast. We, we're really out of space on that. Although one of our Kickstarter levels is if you pledge $10,000, we'll write you a part. What? That's you should have led with that. My people will throw ten grand at you in a heartbeat. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's smart, man. They get animated. Yeah. Okay, so so for ten grand, you can buy yourself a part on an animated pilot, or yes. an animated animated show, because not the pilot. Well, we'll we'll put you in the pilot. It'll put be a small part, but we'll put you. We'll, you should yeah, do we'll it. come up with something. Yeah, you should do it. <clears throat> that's good. Um, uh, yeah, I don't have many questions here today. Where's my main question asker? Uh, Brenda isn't here. Um, mm. Yeah, I know. I don't know what's up with that. This is my second live show this week, so I'm kind of pushing the envelope a little bit. Um, but dude, I'm jazzed about it. It looks great, man. I loved watching the. It looks. Uh, it looks really good. I can't believe you sing too. That's very cool. Do you play any instruments? Yeah, yeah, you do. Because you're talking you about play guitar. You've heard me sing, Lenny. Oh, that's right. You do. I. Totally I did forgot. your lounge lizard three times, dude. I totally forgot. It's been a while. I forgot, man. I'm kind of. <laughs> I'm out of that lounge lizard loop. Yes. Yeah. When we used to do live shows together. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. So, how's so how how's everything else going for you personally, man? How are how are things over there in sure. your end of the valley? Yeah, we're good. Kids are good. Graham graduated. Uh, Aiden's not coming back for Thanksgiving, and uh, you know, Noah's telecommuting. Nice. All of his classes are still online. Oh, so good he's for here him. With us. Because Anna's yeah. still doing that, man. Anna's going into Cal State Northridge, but none of her classes are on campus. They're all yeah. Uh, well, he online. was in college in Chicago. He was right. at Loyola in Chicago, and they shut everything down. And he's like, "Why are you paying for an apartment?" Yeah. And I said, "Oh, I love this kid." Yeah, <laughs> come home and do it from your computer at home. Well, did um so. uh, who uh, Allie did that too? Eamon's daughter, because she was in Boston yeah. at Emerson, and. Uh, after a while, she was like, no, I'm not going to. Why would I come? Because the deal was they were having to go to campus, but then they had all these rules they had to follow. They couldn't go anywhere. So they're like, well, why yeah. don't I, if I can't go out, why wouldn't I just stay home? It'd make more right. sense. So, yeah. Right. So we're all good. Lucinda's already started the Christmas decorating. Oh, that's right. She's, that's, yeah. And we yeah. start tonight, bro. I pulled all, all the stuff out today. The girls and I are decorating yeah. the house tonight. Yeah. We're, she, Anna has to have this place decorated by Thanksgiving. She's very strict. Gotcha. 
Anna doesn't mess around. Angela asked a question. Angela, Angela says, uh, uh, where did your inspiration for the show come from? Um, I was in a couple of uh, starter bands back at, in the 80s, back at the time when this was all, you know, the set in the setting of the show. Um, and even back in the 90s, I had thought, wouldn't it be cool to do a story about, you know, do a show about a, a new wave band? Uh because you have all those stories, right? You have the one where you show up for the gig and the guy's like, Oh, well, I said I was going to pay you $200. And you're like, no, you said you're gonna pay us $500. <laughs> and you know, you get the guy on the light board who's never touched a light board before. And he blows up something and all those stories. And, uh, Eric, the guy I write the music with was in bands like that in the early eighties as well, before he really, you know, took off as a musician. And we noticed that a lot of the stories were the same. Like we couldn't keep a keyboard player. Right. <laughs> so one of the running jokes in the show is every episode or so, they're going to have a different keyboard player. Okay. But they're all going to be voiced by the same actor. Oh, that's hilarious. So, so it's a different yeah. cartoon. It's a different character every time with the so same. It's a different voice. guy, but it's the same person doing the voice. It's the yeah. same voice, right? That's hilarious. Yeah. That's very funny. So Nice. That takes the uh, Spinal Tap blowing up drummer thing another step. I like that. Yes, exactly. They, <laughs> they, they chose drummer, but we had keyboard players. Yeah, that like, stick that's, around. The best. that's the best. Uh, but yeah, yeah, there's a million of those great stories where you show up and uh, suddenly uh, the, the owner from the club has a son that's going to sing in your band, you know, or something right. like that. You know, there's a lot of weird. Or uh, you go to the you go to play the frat party and all the frat guys get mad at you because the girls are all by the stage. Yeah. Like this guy suck. Threaten you afterwards, and you're yeah. like, "Hey, we're just the band." You know? Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're gonna beat you up. That's the best, man. Yeah. So, uh, how many do you? I love the fact that you got a couple years of stories already ready to go. How many total episodes do you think you have? Did you say twenty or? Uh, right now, we've got about well, we've got twenty songs. Okay. Um, and we're gonna have to, we're gonna be writing more for the girl group. Um, when we started the project, it was mainly going to be about the neutrons which is the guys band right um and then we got these four actresses who were brilliant singers and we're like that's stupid yeah <laughs> we need to give more space to them because they're going to be freaking awesome yeah uh so we've written uh we've got about five of the girl songs also written at this point we're gonna have to do a bunch more of those right but as far as episodes go um individual stories we've kicked around probably 30 different storyline episodes and there are arcs throughout the the course of the show um you know my character starts out he's kind of a jerk and then throughout the course of the show you know he becomes a better person right right so <laughs> sure he's kind of a journey not much better no not much better no he's got kind of a little bit of a journey you know what i mean he's kind right of throw but, a little you bit. know <laughs> you know he's a he's a kid from the wrong side he's from the east end of london grew up poor, has a huge chip on his shoulder, you know, hates the man. He wants to be Joe's drummer. And then he gets in a band with a drummer who wants to write happy peppy songs. And, you know, he has to learn a little bit of give and take. So oh, that's that. I like that character. Did you ever see a movie yeah. called Killing Bono? No. I highly suggest that you sounds see this cool. Movie. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. It's, it's a semi-true story. It's somewhat of a true story about... The band that grew came up in Ireland the same time U2 did. And they were like the rival bands. But U2, mm -hmm. you know, everything that went right for U2 went wrong for this other band. And it's just, it's like a dark, it's a really dark comedy. You got to watch it because if you're going to, like for a music industry thing, the stories behind yeah. the scenes, there's just insane things that happen. You know, like he books one big fundraiser and this is his big night. He's going to make a lot of money. And the, the Pope decides to come to Ireland that night. And no one's ever, you know, <laughs> yeah, there's just a ton of stuff that happens. It's insane. It's you got to see it. It's really oh, awesome. And it's really surreal. There's these surreal stories happen. But when you said English, it's, like, it's the same. It's the same vibe. You know, they came up and this kid was a guy that was poor, had no money. You know, he just grew up. He was yeah. trying to get by and just couldn't just couldn't figure it out. You know what I mean? He just couldn't. He just couldn't yeah. figure it out. But it's really it's really funny. That's awesome. Well, dude, I love this, man. I think it's great. I think uh, I'm going to share this on my YouTube page. I'll put it up um, and we'll put the links in there and make sure that the links uh, I'll double check the email. So I have the correct. E yeah, uh, double check the Kickstarter link, too. I'm not sure if it's 
specifically that or not. I did send it to you, so you got it in there, so you can well, look in your email there. So I can be tiny little line sure. at the bottom. Oh my gosh! Yeah, you're right. Kickstarter projects. Here we go. New Wave Pilot. It's called New Wave Pilot. Yep. Okay, man. And it is New Wave Show is what it's uh, called. If you search on ah. Kickstarter, go to New Wave Show. Oh, so, well, if you, I'm sure if you go New Wave Pilot, you can find it. But it says uh, Projects New Wave Show slash New Dash Wave Dash Pilot. So dash sure pilot. this link will go up on the thing on the YouTube page for sure. Cool. Yeah. And then you're all Thanks, set, man. man. Dude, anything I can I can do to help, man. I hope I hope I can get a few people to follow. And then uh, the people that follow the show, please, guys, be nice enough. It'd be great if you guys um if you guys that watch the show or you're watching the show now share this share this uh, share the links share the info uh, so that everybody can check out the new wave uh, information and uh, that way Peter can get uh, closer to a step. And I w- I wish you the best, brother. I do. I wish you the thanks, best, man. Dude, thanks for being and on. And you'll the show. be getting a call from your agent at some point in the future. Yeah, I'll be Stay. ready. Oh yeah, they've. They've got a part for you on this new wave show. In the meantime, I'll try to scrape up 10 grand to see if I can buy my own part. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't need to go to a senior year of college. Who cares? Nah. <laughs> Dude. All right, guys. Thanks. It's Peter Jessup, everybody. Round of applause for the one and only Peter Jessup. That's the man right there. What are we doing? There's a lot of chaos. Hang on. Oh, hold on. Boom. Boom. All right, Peter. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Thanks, Lenny. Folks, that's it. That God, why does that keep happening? Yeah, you know what? That's just that is me not preparing myself well enough. That doesn't belong there, guys. That's the first episode of Total Schmidt Show. Next week uh, will not be live. This show will not be live that often. Um, it is uh, it is live tonight because I wanted to have Peter on here tonight to talk about his show. But next week's show is uh, JP uh, Perrant, who's a magician that I worked with on the Norwegian Encore, and he will be the first taped or streamed episode. Uh, and he will be on next week. And uh, please tune in next Tuesday for that at 6 o'clock. Uh, do me a favor if you can. Um, just, you know what? Go to Peter's Kickstarter, man. Throw some money at, Kick- at Peter's Kickstarter. I'll throw the links in the bio. Do whatever you can to support his show. Um, it, it looks great. I think it's going to be very funny. I was a huge fan of that uh, K-Rock time. That K-Rock was what actually got me out of... I was a metalhead back then. And when I moved to L.A. and started listening to the K-Rock, I got more and more into that type of music, so... Check it out, man. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being here. Uh, this is the first show. I'm looking forward to doing more in the future. You guys, take care of yourselves. And uh, I wish you the best. See you. Bye.